This podcast has been brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Help us spread the light of prophetic guidance to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Make a small donation at seekersguidance.org forward slash donate. For as little as $10 a month, you can help people find life-changing guidance. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah um, I live in a non-Muslim land. Are there any suggestions to capture people's hearts with a balanced and profound way? Are there suggestions to capture people's hearts in a balanced and profound way? I, I suppose it's in the context of calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? The calling, we call, pe- we call people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? We call people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the greatest caller is the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam no one has ever called to allah as beautifully as virtuously or as successfully as the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and no one ever will so if we want to look at how to be effective in calling to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we have to look at the example of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because his and his way is calling to Allah. Everything about the Messenger is calling to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Everything. So, to be effective in calling to Allah, one is to study the, the example of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam carefully and deeply, number one. Number two, the, they say, when it comes to, to law, they say, دِلَالَةُ الْقَوْلِ أَقْوَى مِنْ دِلَالَةِ الْفِعْلِ In legal matters, the indication of words is stronger than the indication of actions. Right? If the Prophet ﷺ did something, but he told us to do something, what he told us to do is more incumbent. But they say, وَفِي الْقَبُولِ دِلَالَةُ الْفِعْلِ أَقْوَى مِنْ دِلَالَةِ الْفِعْلِ Right? But in terms of impact, the, the impact of actions is much stronger and louder than words. As they say, actions speak louder than words. And states speak louder than actions. That the greatest thing you can do to be, to be able to call other people to Allah is call yourself to Allah. Call yourself to to Allah. You want people to embrace the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ? Call yourself, uphold the sunnah yourself. And they'll be, they'll be res- resultant acceptance. Right? Because then you're not sharing words with the tongue, you are conveying realities. Meanings that can only be conveyed by living hearts, right? And it is the state, you know, in the taba li tabi yasriku, right? Right? States impact upon others' states, right? Um, fa, that's the thing to work on. They say, "Ud, you need call yourself to Allah." Before you can call others to Allah. So we have to call others to Allah, but we, we must be the first to answer that call. Right? So that's, that's important. And how do you do that? Seek p- the people who remind you of the example of the Prophet. ﷺ. In, the, in their knowledge, in their action, and in their states. Because this, this religion is taken. From hearts, from living, from living hearts, fi qulubil ladina amen, in the hearts of those who have believed, right, right, and that's how it's come to us. Tuba liman raani, right, glad tidings be to the one who has seen me. O tuba liman raa man raani, and glad tidings be to the one who has seen those who have seen me, etc. As has come from hadith of the Prophet, right, and that is how. 
the reality of religion, which is a heart that has turned to Allah. That is deen. Right? Everything else is a consequence of the heart turning to Allah. What is the prayer? It's a consequence of the heart turning to Allah. What is fasting? It's a consequence of the heart turning to Allah. Um, so that's what we have to consider, and that's what we have to gather as communities of concern to consider how we can better come together to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to embrace the example of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And in that also, consult living scholars. There's others before you. Ittabi'a sabila man anaba ilallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, follow the, the footsteps, follow the path, the way of those who have truly turned towards me. Right, but, you can, but the path, like, logically, if the path has many people who've gone on it, you can't follow someone who crossed the path a hundred years ago. Directly. Because you may get confused about the path. But there are those who are walking on that path in your times. So consult them about your circumstances. Consult them. That these are the challenges we face. How do we call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Consult and have living relations with such people. Wallahu a'lam. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Visit seekersguidance.org to access reliable Islamic knowledge taught by qualified teachers. We offer a wide range of courses, podcasts, articles, and a world-class answer service. Support us in spreading free, reliable Islamic knowledge to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Visit seekersguidance.org forward slash donate and make a small monthly commitment today. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, whoever guides someone to goodness will have a similar reward. So don't forget to share this podcast and spread prophetic guidance.